We unfortunately live in a world that has blurred the lines of what used to be marital benefits that are now being given in relationships, okay? And because relationships today are pretty much like marriage light, you know, or uh, diet marriage, you know what I'm saying? Like this, this one tier below, but people are carrying on pretty much the same way, just without the legality of it and the spiritual implications of it, but there's still spiritual implications. It makes it difficult because what I would say is a marriage benefit, someone else can argue, well, that's what people in relationships do, all right? So with that understood, let me still say this, because we're talking about he hasn't even made it official with you yet, all right? It's one thing, people can make their argument about doing certain things when you're officially in a relationship, but to be doing those things and it's not even official and it's been going on for months, you are shooting yourself in the foot, okay? And so this is what I mean by giving away your value. Whether people want to admit it or not or, or understand this or not, back in the days, and I'm going way, way back, right? Part of the incentive of getting married or becoming committed to someone, right, as a, as a man, was you really didn't receive those benefits anywhere else. If you wanted someone that could hold down the household, nurture the kids, or help you have raise a family with, um, consistent intimacy, all these different things, well, that used to be you had to get married or you had to get committed. And the more and more these things are given outside of that, that, that dynamic, and again, even outside of an actual official relationship, the more it deters or contributes to men feeling like, well, I don't, why do I need to make it official? I'm already getting what I want. So when you're dating this guy, and, and listen, I'm not here to shame you if you have been doing all kinds of things, you, you getting intimate with him, you cooking for him, you're doing all this stuff, right? What's happened has happened. The key is you got to take a step back and say, well, wait a minute. I, I think I've gone too far. Now I think I've gone too far, all right? And if this man can't even give me commitment, again, we're not going to get into the argument of he, those things are really for marriage. That's a different discussion. But the point is, he can't even at least give you commitment and clarity and intention. Then why you keep giving all this value to him? You know what I'm saying? The dating phase is really supposed to be about getting to know each other to see if we are willing to come together in a serious relationship. And of course, hopefully marriage, but... We live in a world that some people argue they don't even want to get married. Again, whole different discussion. But the point is, you got to ask yourself, why, why am I giving so much when you're not even getting what you need in return? What's really going on here? And some of you, if you're honest with yourself, you're doing this because you're hoping it will get you the commitment. You're hoping it will get him to like you. Now, some of you may be doing it because you just enjoy doing it. I'll save that discussion for later. But... For those of you who know deep inside, no, you're doing it to gain his approval. You're doing it to hopefully get his him to be in relationship with you. You got to stop. That's the wrong reason to do it. And if you've been doing it this whole time and he's still not giving you a relationship, well, clearly it's not working. Doesn't mean it's not good. Doesn't mean it doesn't have value. It just means this man is not built to honor that value. This man is not wired to see it for what it is and pour back into you what you need. And it's time for you to put an end to that. So stop giving away your value and understand when you are going doing too much in the situation. All right. So we got a couple more to go. So the other thing you need to do when a man has yet to make it official, make the relationship official with you, is you need to ask yourself, why are you even still here? Okay. So this is one of those things where, and you can, you probably need to make this, if not the very first step, somewhere in the top two steps, okay? Because this is a foundational question that needs to be asked. Why am I still here? Again, there's no point in worrying about him becoming official with you and giving you commitment if there's unaddressed red flags. There's no point in trying to make things official with him if the only reason why you're really here is because you're just afraid to be alone, but you know deep inside he's not the guy for you. You know what I'm saying? And we can go through the list 
of all the different reasons why a woman may still be there even though this is not where she belongs. And that's why you have to really get to the rule of why. Now, of course, there's going to be some of you who are there because maybe you genuinely feel like there's a connection here. You genuinely feel like you two can have an amazing relationship. You know, and, and maybe there's just some things that need to be cleaned up and then we can actually make this happen. But for many, many women out there, that's not the case. For many of you, it is all these other things that I've mentioned. And you got to be willing to be honest with yourself because if you're not, you're going to fall into the trap of, again, deepening this unhealthy attachment and struggling to walk away. And when you start to recognize, because for some of you, you may be able to ask yourself that question and come to the realization, I'm just going to use the example of you're afraid to be alone. And so let's say you come to the realization, okay, I know I'm here because I'm afraid to be alone, but even though I know that, I still struggle with walking away. All right, I understand that, right? Again, this is a no judgment zone. I love you. I, I pray that you're able to walk away, but I understand that some of you may still struggle even when you acknowledge what it is. And this is where now, at least if we understand we have this struggle, we need to take it a step further and go into healing. Because the reason why you're struggling is due to the things from your past you haven't healed from. And those things, when they linger, contribute or create these unhealthy attachments to individuals that now create all these other problems. So this is your opportunity. Even if, even if you have to go through the healing process while you're still battling the, the, the desire of wanting to stay here, I, st I just want you to get started. I just want you to start on that path of healing. And, you know, I'm always going to say, listen, I don't care who you go to. I don't care what book you read. All I care is that you get it done. Of course, I have the Love After Heartbreak book that gives you the steps to healing. In the program that I mentioned earlier, there's modules on the healing process. But I will just be happy that you're going to someone to get the help that you need. That's all that matters. All right? So be willing to take that step even if you feel like you are not ready to walk away. Even if you feel like, I know this is a problem, I just don't, I don't know if I have the strength to do anything about it. Okay, but then let's just still do the healing in the meantime, and then we'll see how you feel after you get through that process. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here, and I'll see you there. Relationships are the key to a successful life. But there's five areas that we have to be mindful of when it comes to relationships. There's relationship with God, relationship with ourselves, relationship with family and friends,